What I find fascinating about Wendy McLeod's play is uh, so many so many comedies are built on dysfunctional marriages and dysfunctional relationships, and there's something really functional about this married couple at the center of this play. I, I find it fascinating that there's so much comedy to mine in ob just observing and hammering out in a healthy way, I think pretty much mostly, in this couple that has a marriage that is really working and just gets stronger from this crazy experience of being with a, a very stressful situation with a waiter. It's fascinating. And I, I think kind of brilliant and really relatable. Irene, well, <laughs> Irene, I think is shares similarities to um, a lot of women that um, hit middle age and have empty nest, and they just they're figuring out where their place is in the world. And then part of this journey in this this long evening is for Irene to fill her, figure out not only where her place is in the world but where where she fits in the world with her husband um, because suddenly she doesn't have to care for her children um, in the same way is she, does her husband still find her attractive anymore um, it's I, I mean I don't know I don't know a lot of women that haven't gone through this at this point in their life, whether they're a mother um, or a wife or not, where you start to, Irene says at some point, middle-aged women are invisible. And I've, I've had friends said that same thing. So there's, as, as much as there's, there's comedy here, there, it's really touching on how society treats women of a certain age when they're no longer um, what maybe is considered traditionally beautiful and they're no longer fertile. And it's funny that we talk, our characters talk about that. Well, maybe we could have another baby. You know, we don't, we don't know who to be um, as parents. And then we discover through this course of, thanks to this long, slow food journey, we, we discover that we, all of those things that we fell in love with each other for are still there. And it's about kind of reconnecting to ourselves as individual as individuals not as just parents so um and like Stu and Perry the dialogue is just so great so when I got the audition that's when I was really sold on it so I'd seen it but once I read the script I was like okay you got me I I want this this is a role I want to play this is uh, such good material um yeah, so she's, um, I love, I always, I love playing women that are a little bit on the verge of, they're on the verge of something. And, and Irene is on a, ver on the, she's on the verge of a meltdown if she doesn't get some food. And that's always, <laughs> it's always fun for me to play. For me, my character, um, Peter, um, he is um, most definitely an alpha um, male. Um, philosophy major, um, attended law school. Um, he's very bottom line oriented, um, matter of fact, turned business consultant, which is kind of parallel to myself because I actually was a finance major or who was a stockbroker who left corporate America to, to live out this passion of being an actor. How sane and rational can that be, right? But I don't regret it one bit. Um, so I kind of relate to that always his philosophy side of always thinking and thinking about um, how things can be. But when it comes to getting things done and being action oriented, that's kind of what he's been trained to do. So I can most definitely can relate to that. He, um, he is a provider, he is a protector and he pronounces and he cares about his family. He's loved this woman, Irene. They've been together for what, 22, 23 years you know, of marriage, I guess the 30 that everyone talks about must be they maybe they were together seven years prior, you know, because that's what's um, in all the um, advertising. They say we've been together for 30 years, but maybe that's before the marriage. But um, I, I think what you get from him is that um, he feels uh, he's human. He, he's he's funny. There's the farce of the extremeness. But what's really beautiful, I think, is the the way that he can um, show that that um that alpha male tug of war thing going on, as well as uh, uh, being aware and not ashamed to show that, you know, he, he's, he's a sensitive man as well. And I think that's important as far as being, you know, any man, period. 
being comfortable in your skin, being your, your masculine, as well as your connecting with your wife. Let's bring it down. Let's be a little soft here so we can, um, so um, love can save the day. So that's Peter Dubois. I gave him the last name, which is a little, you know, for me, from New Orleans, um, moves up north. There you go. That kind of thing. The character I play is uh, the waiter, Stephen. Stephen with a PH, which he's very careful to point out. He's a very specific, particular, uh, fastidious, specific. I can't stress that enough. He, I think he's almost a little ADD. He, he only wants things to go a very specific way. Um, and his idea of service is somewhere between Downton Abbey and uh, Flo and Alice on <laughs> that old TV series. Um, it, and, I, and I think it's important to bring in that he, he arrives at the beginning of the play at the end of his day, at the end of a week. The, the restaurant is about to close for a day, for their one, one day a week. So I think he might be a little tired and pressing a little too hard to make sure that he's offering his best to this very lovely couple um, that to his impression may or may not be attracted to him. Um, <laughs> lots, of, lots of madness ensues uh, as, we, as we journey through this evening. So if you'd like to see Slow Food, you need to log on to ictlongbeach.org and go to their ticket tab and make a reservation. Get your, get your ticket to see Slow Food by Wendy McLeod, uh, directed by Myra Mazur and starring Meredith Thomas, Stu James, and me, Perry Ojeda. Uh, hope to see you soon. That's ictlongbeach.org.